guys, welcome back to my channel and to another episode of my True to Fit series. And as you guys can guess, obviously it is about shoes. So this episode of True to Fit will be about the Toga Pola Western Booty. Before I get on with this video, let me just get my disclaimer out of the way. If you guys are brand new to my channel, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below just because I currently don't have a regular upload schedule. So the easiest way to be notified when I post a new video is by hitting that little red button down below. And if you want to make your life a little easier, you can hit the bell notification button. But if you guys are already subscribed, welcome back and thank you for sticking around for my True to Fit series. As you can tell, I am a booty girl. Apparently I'm a booty girl. Um, but honestly, fall is my favorite season and I love fall just because you can wear ankle booties. I guess now with fashion nowadays, you can wear ankle booties any time of the year, but Montreal is ridiculously hot in the summer and I really do not feel comfortable wearing suede boots in 30 degrees plus weather. But the Toga Polo Boots is a pretty much unknown brand, I feel like, for most people because I honestly didn't know about it. And it is a brand that's kind of more familiar with like underground style aficionados. Toga Polo is actually the secondary line to the designer brand Toga, which is a Japanese brand designed by Yasuko Furata. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Toga is pretty much a brand known for combining traditional Japanese elements with Western influences. And as you can tell, this boot looks like a cowboy boot. It literally cannot get any more western about this. Their philosophy is really they want to reincarnate rather than remake, which I guess is a great philosophy because why reinvent the wheel when you can just make it better? The reason why I ended up picking up the western booty is because I actually had my heart set on the Chloe Susanna boots. You guys all know which boots they're talking about. But at that time, I wasn't sure if I could commit to the Susanna, to the Chloe Susanna boots just because there was a lot going on. There was like the buckles and the suede and the price point. They were like about $1,500. And I was just like, no, I can't commit to something which I'm not sure about. So when I spotted the Toga Polo Western suede, four buckle suede booties, I figured the great way to test out the trend because they are quite similar. They do have the four buckles uh, minus the stud. So the shoe is like a little bit more classic. I actually own this shoe in two colors. I own them in black and then I own them in burgundy. Uh, this kind of attests to the fact of how much I like the shoe. Uh, and for some reason, I only love them in suede because I just didn't like the look of the leather, but these are great booties, to be honest. I'm just gonna hold the burgundy pair because I, I haven't worn the burgundy pair out yet, but the black pair I've worn out since last year because they were actually Lily's Christmas gift to me. Um, so let me just get the nitty gritty out of the way. The Toga Pola boots retail for $660. I've seen them around that price um, on other websites. They can vary between five something to $600. But I managed to snap up the black pair on sale for like, I think 60% off as well. So I got them for like about $235. And this burgundy pair, I honestly, pretty much got them at a steal. I managed to pick these up at a sample sale for $80. Before I get onto the fit with about the Toga Pola Western, oh, that is like a tongue twister. Before I get onto the fit about the Toga Pola Western booties, I'm gonna get my disclaimer out of the way. These shoes are one of the most noisy shoes you will ever own in your life. I don't know if you guys can hear it already, but the buckles do jingle quite a lot. So when I wear these to work, people can hear me coming from a mile away because all they hear is the little jingling. You guys will never believe the amount of comments I got from my coworkers every time I wore these boots. Like literally everybody would ask me, oh, where's your horse? Did you lose your horse? Because these not only look like cowboy boots, they have a very Western vibe to it. And it honestly sounded as if I had a spur on the back of my cowboy boot when I was walking. That's how much noise I was making. And I have to admit, the heel is like a wooden heel, so not only are you jingling about, you're actually click clacking quite loudly across an office floor. Uh, but the only annoying thing about the heel is with the black pair when I was wearing them, literally about three wears into it, I had significant wear on the heel edge. Like I'll insert a picture of it so you can see what I mean, but that was kind of annoying for a pair of shoes that retail for $600. Like seriously, like that wear on the heel should not be happening. So I actually had to bring them to a shoemaker who kind of replaced the heel with a rubber, which kind of worked out in the end because I was, I kind of reduced the clocking sound, but my clinking sound was still there. So I was slightly less noisy. In addition to the fact that the heel kind of wore out very fast on my black pair, I just noticed that the sole wears down very quickly which is kind of annoying for a pair of shoes that's like six hundred dollars I feel like the sole should not wear up wear down this fast like can you guys see how 
worn down the soles. Mind you, I can probably just get this resold and it'll be like a quick fix and maybe I'll make even less noise once it's resold. Uh, but yeah, it's just kind of annoying when a shoe costs $600 and you, you constantly having to repair them. So now onto the fit of these boots. These boots are true to size and I, and I know for a fact they're true to size because I tried half a size bigger and they were way too big. And the reason why I tried half a size bigger is because we all have one foot that is slightly bigger than the other and for me it's the left foot. So for some shoes, uh, more than others, I feel like the left foot is slightly always a little bit tight. Uh, so when that happens, I always try to try half a size up just to see if it'll feel better and if it's wearable. Uh, the majority of the time, the half a size is actually really too big because even though it's less tight, uh, what ends up happening is I feel like I'm about to lose my shoe because the shoe is just too big when I walk. So these are definitely true to size. I highly recommend picking up your own size. The only thing I would have to say is these shoes are uh, very narrow. Mind you, they are suede. They should stretch over time. But what I ended up having to do was I actually had to bring the left foot in to get it stretched. Just the left foot, I swear to God, I and I think that's like a running theme with me lately. I've been always having to just get the left foot stretched out a bit because it's just a little bit too tight. And honestly, I don't wear shoes enough where they'll stretch on their own eventually. Like you know how some people like you're constantly wearing shoes and they'll stretch out over time. I actually don't do that because I do have quite a few pairs of shoes. I'll admit it, I'm guilty of that. So a lot of the times my shoes don't stretch out uh, on their own and I do have to bring the left foot in to get it stretched out by a shoemaker. So that is it for this episode of True to Fit on the Toga Pola Western Booties. Comment down below if you guys have already heard about the brand and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!